Have you ever wondered how easy it is to make a million dollars? Fellow Toastmasters, Madam Toastmaster, today I'd like to share a story with you about how I made my first million. So a couple of years ago, when I was a senior in college, I ran into an old friend of mine called Sam. Sam is an older guy, middle-aged, <coughs> smart guy, professional accountant, and he also works for a top 10 Fortune 500 company. Smart guy. On that day, Sam was very excited. He was excited because he had just discovered a new financial um, investment opportunity and he was making a lot of money in. So without taking too much time, I asked him a few questions about it and I asked him to introduce me to his financial advisor, which he did. So the next day I called the financial advisor, her name is Stella. Stella was very smart and eloquent and she had an English accent. Very pleasant to listen to. Without wasting any more time, I decided to invest in this opportunity. Now, the opportunity is called binary options. By show of hands, does anybody know what binary options is? Okay, so binary options is like making a bet on the market, on the stock market. So you can trade on commodities or you can trade on stocks. So you pretty much predicting if the market or the price of a stock is gonna hit the target after the expiry date. If it does and you're right, you make some money. If you lose the bet, you lose some money. So the initial investment was about $25. $25,000. So I made a financial plan and I ran it by one of my friends to co-invest with me. He was a little skeptical at first, but after a little bit of convincing him, and I made this nice plan on how we could make a million dollars in three years by investing in this portfolio, growing our portfolio to $100,000, and then rinse and repeat and eventually invest in real estate. So the concept of all this was you initially invest $25,000 and after making $100,000, then you can make a withdrawal. Now everything was going on fine and awesome. For the first two months, we had grown our portfolio to about $75,000. Just a few more trades and we could hit $100,000. I was excited. Now the financial advisor called me a few days later and she asked me to make some trades. This were long-term trades that were going to expire in two weeks. So I couldn't know what the outcome would be until after two weeks. So I made this long-term trade. And for the next two weeks, every day I would log on the website to see how we were doing. Based on the stock market and where we were, we were doing very good. Every single day, log on to the site. Do the same thing, check the stock market, see the trade that we placed, and see how we're doing. Doing very great. And everything was going on fine, and the day before the trades expired, I tried to log into the website, and it said my username didn't exist. Ah, didn't think too much about it. Check the stock market, hmm, still looking good. Probably had a technical difficulty. Um, so I emailed tech supports, told them, I was going through some tech issues. Didn't get a response. Mm, didn't think too much about it. I uh, sent an email to my financial advisor. She typically responds in a few seconds. Ah, didn't hear from her. Sure, we're good. And after three frantic days of trying to get in touch with my financial advisor, that was when the skills fell off my eyes. That was when I discovered that I was a victim of a financial fraud. So I lost all the money. Uh, I had an option to get a lawyer and uh, you know go through the Interpol. By the end of the day, I would end up paying even much more than I initially invested. So after a little bit of talking with my friend, we decided to just let it be. So fellow Toastmasters, even though I didn't make my first one million in dollars, I made it in knowledge, and experience, and in wisdom, because I learned an invaluable lesson after that experience. I learned never to fall for an exotic accent. <laughs> <laughs>
seconds to write feedback for his speech.